This is a day I'm feeling really good about things. We've got sunshine and we've got a lot of activity. We've got Tony working on the porch. We've got the roof guys who are gonna finish up today and I've got my painters here and they're applying the primer coat all over the house. Let's take a look. They say an eco-friendly house can't be built in 150 days for $150,000 and I say it can. I'm Alan Smith. Join me as I push the limits with time, budget, and creativity with the Garden Home Challenge exclusively on eHow Home. You know, I'm liking what I'm seeing here. Finally getting some paint on the house. Well, we're getting primer on the house. What they're using is they're using an exterior latex paint um, and they're painting both the trim and sort of the body of the house where we use that clabbered and as if you'll recall we used a, a concrete type material. The trim is a composite and both of those have a 50 year warranty which was important to me. I wanted to look very traditional but I also wanted it to be very green. Now, the fellows here have already gone through and caulked everywhere. You see they've placed caulk here on these corners, there's caulk here, there's flashing here, there's caulking here and here. And where they didn't caulk is if you look up under there, you can see the clabbered and there's a little bit of space and that's for ventilation. I want the house to be able to breathe, okay? Now, what the plan is here is for them to use the spray technique and cover everything with the primer. The primer attaches to the material. In this case, we've got this uh, man-made board and we've got the man-made siding. And then it creates a consistency. By, by getting that uh, across there in a consistent way, then when we come back with our finished paint, we'll do two coats of that, that paint will be applied with a brush. And I like that because you get some force. You get the brush, the bristles of the brush, pushing the paint onto this. And he's spraying here, he's being very careful to, to not waste any paint. That's important because I don't want it flying around in the atmosphere and I want it directly on, on the product to cover as much square footage as he possibly can. Check in with us regularly. If you're liking following what we're doing here with this house, there's a lot going on. Tell a friend and subscribe to eHow Home.